Hey everybody, it's Sandra Deluxe, and today I'm gonna give you two looks using the new, new nude, the new nude, the new Huda Beauty new nude palette. I'm doing two looks for you today because I wanted to do one extra and one quite simple and soft just because I wanted to explore the matte shades and I wanted to get into this glitter. So this is what we came up with as well as this look, me and my fingers. Sorry I'm a little late. I've been trying to post on Sundays and Thursdays. I ended up having a very crazy Thursday and stayed awake for 30 hours trying to get work done. Then I drove to San Francisco for 15 hours for a wedding. Then when I came back, I meant to on Monday wake up hella early and film a tutorial, get it released for you on Monday. My power was out for the day so I couldn't film but I've got this coming right up right now. I hope you guys enjoy the video and if you'd like to see how to get the look stay tuned okay let's jump right in this is a very cute palette so she's launched some new eyeshadow brushes I'm just gonna start with the most unusual to me one is this double-ended brush one's got a sponge tip like you used to get in the OG eyeshadow things and one has kind of like a silicone so I don't know what that's for maybe for applying the shimmery shades who knows but we're gonna try it next we have this one is the build and blend so I guess that's one's for your crease or something it's kind of angled I would use that to snatch my nose a shell the smoke and smudge brush which looks like two sh kind of standard eyeshadow brushes a big one and a small one and then while we're up close I'm just gonna show you the palette so I already kind of dipped my fingers in it but these are the shadows We've got some glittery ones. I never understood these uh, pressed glitters because I don't know how to use them, but hopefully today we'll figure it out. I just want to swatch those, so. I think you probably need some type of base to make it stick. I think it could be really dope if we can make it work. So I already have my foundation and base and brows and all that good stuff done because we're going to do two looks and I don't want this video to be a million years long. So first up, let's get into the build and blend. So I'm gonna start with Teddy, this guy in the corner, and the larger end of the brush. And let's just start building up our crease. The pigment looks pretty nice, although it's a little crumbly when you dip your brush into it. I think because it's not as pressed, I mean the powder being pressed, the more pressed it is, the less pigment will actually show up. So I'm assuming it's kind of fine like this so that you can get the maximum amount of pigment. I never really do pinks, but it seems like a lot of the Huda Beauty palettes are pink and purple. And this one seems to be the lightest of the palettes. I've only really tried the Desert Sands palette, but I've seen the Rose Gold palette too. And they have a lot of like very pinky and purpley shades in them. This is a, a surprising palette for me. I don't know what's trending, we'll see, um, for holidays, but, or since we're getting into that season, this looks like a kind of a springy palette to me, but the glitter would be dope for holiday, and maybe you can use the darker shades for more of like fall glam. Next, I'm gonna try this Fender Blender. I'm gonna use the concealed shade. I actually was like kind of putting them on my hands, and this is actually like a, cream which shocked me it's light but it seems like it's kind of sheer so I, she probably did that to make it more wearable for different skin tones i'm just gonna try this thing out i'm just kind of feeling for where my eyeball is and blending it maybe this is how you use the for the glitter it's kind of like a light eyeshadow base i don't know how it wears or anything or if it acts like an eyeshadow base or if it's just strictly like a concealer as somebody who uses their fingers quite a quite a bit this is almost like the same feeling as a finger like kind of flexible and rubbery almost like skin I know that probably sounds hella weird but it's just neat to see all these silicone type applicators come out when you could use your fingers but this is cool because my fingers are not this small so I guess if you like a finger application but need a smaller finger I think this would be pretty cool I think we're gonna keep this like real simple. I like the whole soft pink idea. So I'm just going to take the larger end of this blender brush and I'm putting product on the flat side, but I'm going to flip it to apply on the more narrow side to let it hug onto my crease or into my crease. And we'll just pull it out a little bit. Next, I'm going to use the smoke and smudge. I'm going to go into the shade tease down here and I'm going to take the small end of the brush and I want to do like a little half wing liner. So 
So I'm just imagining a line from the bottom row of lashes and then winging it out from there. This is pretty. I actually, like I said in another video, I don't really like pinks and purples, but again, this is like a cool opportunity to play with colors. Different colors. So I think I'm going to take a little bit of bare, this really bright one. Let's see what that looks like. And just brighten up the lid. Ooh, that's hella bright. And I'm kind of just going on to the empty space we created with the concealer. Just kind of setting, I guess, the concealer shade. And then I'll also do the inner corner of my eyes because it just makes your eyes look bigger. And I like that. I'm going to go over top with Crave in the inner corner just to give it a little shimmer. Cool, that's pretty natural. I'm going to go back in with the concealed shade. It's called Concealed. And that silicone kind of applicator, I'll just wing out the bottom. I did this in my last video too with shadow and then use liner, but I think I just want to use this like my shadow as liner today. And why don't we clean up under here a little bit too. I'm gonna let it blend in a little bit better because it's a little messy with that. I just want to blend out this color on my lid because I feel like it's a little bright. I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna take some mascara. This is my Tarte Lights Camera Flashes. Just doing a light coat. And for lashes, I'm gonna do my Lily Lashes in Goddess. And I'll just put those close as I can to my lash line and on that very furthest outer part of my lashes. Give them a little lift on the end. And same thing on this side. Now that the lashes are on, I kind of want to intensify the liner. So I'm going to go in with Love Bite, the darkest shade right here. And the sponge part. See what happens. And I'll just swing it out using the tip. Yeah, let's be a little more aggressive with it. I'll still light handed with this little weak liner. But we're going to make it more bold. And I'm just using the very tip to draw out my light. We can go in with the silicone side. Just pull it out. Same thing over here. Let's take a little bit of play and just go underneath the wing so it carries a tiny bit of that rosiness, but it's still kind of light like a highlighter just to brighten up around there. And let's do that under the brow too, just lightly. So it's nice and rosy. For lips, I'm gonna keep it mad uh, daytime glam. I'm gonna use the Bite Beauty Lip Pencil in zero. Three, six, and just lightly outline my lippies because it's mad dry outside and on my lips. I'm going to use from the holiday set the Agave Treat Trio, the Candy Cane Agave Lip Mask, which I love for my dry lips. I've used this lots before, but it smells like a candy cane. This time of year, they're kind of necessary. So there's our natural look. So there's our first look. I think this is super cute for daytime or if you would like to do like a nice little natural beat. It's very soft and rosy and romantic. I could see this being like a super wintry look too. So I'm gonna get this off and uh, move on to the next look. Let's get on to round two. We're gonna start this one with raw, the kind of darkest shade we used in the last one for our creases. Should we use that one? Yeah. Let's do it. And I'm going to do the same kind of idea that we started with on the last one, just darkening up that crease. And this is quite a deeper shade than what we started with last time. I actually like this brush. I was like, when I saw these, I was like, why didn't she have a blendy brush? Like a brush like this. But this is doing it for me. I like it. So I'm just kind of pushing in my crease to shade it. Same thing on this side. I'm a little nervous about using the glitter, so I don't really know how. I'm going to take raw and this smoke and smudger brush and just tap that on the outer part of my eye lid. And I'm only tapping because I want the most product to be laid down. And I think we'll go into lace. This is a kind of cute color. It's like a baby perp. And I'll just press that on top. Give it a nice little blend. Tapping it all over that empty space and then giving it a nice little blend. Let's just go into this dark purple called Love Bite. Line out that bottom part. Next, I'm gonna take my finger and the concealer color. I'm gonna tap that on my lid so it kind of mixes in with that color lace we did, the purple, with a finger. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's get into one of these colors and see how we can make it work. Should I do this one? Okay, we're gonna go into Infatuated with a finger again and just tap it over top of where we did the concealed color. 
That actually sticks quite nice. Are we pleasantly surprised? Yes, we are. Well, I am anyways. And I'm just gonna tap it until I can't feel that concealed color underneath. No mo. We're in full glitter today. I mean, let me try it with the sponge because it came with that. Maybe you're not a finger person. Let me try this. Oh yeah, that works good too. Okay. Oh, I can kind of get a nice shape with this too. So I'm just rolling this all along my eyelid space. I feel like a... Uh, Unicorn. Oh, spanked is kind of a cute color. Let's take some spanked. This fella in the corner. We didn't give her any love. Drag it along the lower lash line. And just connected it to that top wing there. I kind of like the pressed um, glitter stuff because sometimes if you want to take a glitter with you or if you're just dealing with glitter in general, having a tub can get everywhere. And it's kind of like an all-in-one type of feeling. I'm going to go into Daydream right here. We haven't used that one yet, I don't think. Highlight the inner corners. Lots of pink and purple. I'm going to take um, Tickle and my blending brush again and just help to blend out the spanked color we did earlier. What else haven't we used? Oh, I haven't used this side of the brush yet, so let's use a little bit of Kinky. Go right under there. the center to give it some metallic fire. And let's use the silicone thing and concealer again. Um, let's carve this out right above our lid. Feeling for right where the crease is and going just under it. We'll be an extra today. And I'm just working on keeping it smooth-ish. I'm going to go into the sky and just blend it so it's soft. Connect it here. Okay, I guess that's what we're doing. Let's take that little tiny brush and let's set it with this light color here. See what happens. Now I'm going to take the brush and just dust away any parts I missed. Alright, guess we're doing it on the other side. I already started, got myself into this. This time I'm going to start here. Oh, this side I, I didn't, uh, wasn't patient enough. Gotta be mad mindful of which direction you're holding your brush because you might get little chunkies like I just did. It always happens with me. I have patience for one eye and not the other. And this side is a little bit, my eyes a little bit more closed. Naturally, this one hangs a little lower, so sometimes I make my eyeliner a little thicker or my cut crease is a little higher on this side just to make it appear more open. So that's how it is. And I'm just going to go over it with there again, that light color, and just set it. Okay. Not sure what happened here, but we try new things on this channel. I think if you want this, this light color to be extra sharp, maybe use a, a liner instead. But I just wanted to play with it and see how the brush worked and how it could move. So that's what we did. That's what we did. So lashes don't grow on trees, so let's not pretend they do. I'm going to go in with the goddess lashes again because we're resourceful. Light coat on the top light coat on the bottom but that's just because i still have a tiny bit of mascara on from my last look and i'll just stick these on right quick since we're being resourceful today and i've used this before i'm gonna use on button stun a lip paint let's be resourceful for a third time and use that same lip liner that we used a second ago hopefully these match this is kind of more pinky than on button i'm gonna make it match Oh yeah, that matches just fine. Is this on button? It's on button. Done a limp paint. Okay, so there's look two. Came for that drama. Didn't know where I was going, but we ended up here. I think I used almost every color in this thing. What do you guys think of the look? What do you guys think of the palette? Holla at me. We did a lot today. I mean, I don't know. For some reason in the light, it doesn't look that dramatic, but... I know deep in my heart she's extra. There's not really a ton of like super dark colors in the palette, which is cool, but we still did a lot. It's nice to sometimes do dramatic looks with lighter shades because for me, I don't like a lot of dark around my eyes very often. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to share, subscribe, follow, love yourself, stay pretty, and I'll see you guys again in the next video. Take care.